Greetings. Grace to you and peace from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As today is the fifth Wednesday in Lent, we come to the conclusion of our contemplation of the Stations of the Cross of Christ with Stations 13, 14, and 15. And as today is also April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, I am reminded that the Bible says that to the unbelieving secular world around us, those of us who believe and follow Jesus can seem like fools. In fact, the Bible says we can proudly refer to ourselves as fools for Christ and wear that as a badge of honor. Because the Bible also says that the foolishness of God is wiser than than any human wisdom. And so with that in mind, let us conclude our contemplation of the wisdom of the cross of Jesus, our Savior. And so I'm going to pan the camera around here and we'll come to station 13. Just steady my hand a bit. Station 13. Jesus is taken down from the cross. What tender sorrow. Jesus' lifeless body lies in his mother's arms. He has truly died. The offering of sacrificial love complete. I behold this scene around the foot of the cross. The weeping, the shock, how his mother lovingly caressed his wounded body. I remember all who were blessed by his touch in life, all who have been blessed by his warm greeting and embrace. I pause to let, let it soak in. Jesus knows the mystery of death. He has fallen and surrendered into God's hands. And he did it for me. He did it for you so that we might give our lives in sacrificial service to others. He said, just as I have loved you, so you are to love one another. I pour out my heart to the God of all mercies. Amen. I'll now pan over here to the 14th. Station, station 14, Jesus is placed in the tomb. They take the body of Jesus to its resting place. The huge stone rolled over the tomb is the final symbol of the permanence of death. I pause to contemplate this act of closure on his life. In solidarity with all humanity, his body is taken to its grave. I stand for a moment outside this tomb. This final journey of his life has shown me the meaning of his gift of himself for me and for you. This tomb represents every tomb I stand before with fear in defeat, struggling to believe it could ever be empty. In the fullness of faith in the crucified and risen one, we express our gratitude for his way of the cross. We ask Jesus whose hands, feet, and side still bear the signs of this journey to grant us the grace we need to take up our cross of servanthood each and every day. Amen. And now for our final station of the cross, I need to come out of this pew and walk over here to station number 15. <clears throat> okay. Station 15, Jesus' empty tomb. Lord, when you were buried, it seemed like the complete end of everything you said and promised and stood for. But it wasn't. It was only the beginning. As we travel tonight 
from the sorrow of crucifixion to the hope of resurrection. Be with us in a special way to help us reflect in our hearts who you are and what you have done for us through him. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care, everyone.